Hi, honey family. Welcome back. So, my most recent trip to Florida, I took a few pieces of my paranormal equipment and I had some fun while I was down there. I did some EVP sessions with also my EMF meter on the beach and also at the Indian burial mound that was just a few steps away from my hotel. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Is there anyone here who wants to communicate with me? If so, change the lights on the device in front of me. Is there any spirits here on the beach with me right now? If so, change the lights. Does anyone ever come out here to talk to you all? Or am I the first person? Do you like the cats that roam about? Do they guard over the place? You picked a lovely spot to build a grave. Just keep plotting up that lot so that I know you're with me. Would you like me to leave you alone?
So I came back to the same spot I was last night where I had an interesting experience. And I'm hoping that the spirit who tried to make contact with me last night is still with me here tonight. If you are, can you either say something or make the lights on that little device in front of me move? brought with you an offering from the ocean. I know that you all were very much water loving people. I'd like for you to make contact with me if you'd like to. Either make the lights move or say something to my reporter. Are you the same person who came up to behind me last night while I was here? Are you a different spirit than came up with came up behind me last night while I was here? Are you part of the people who are buried in this burial mound in front of me? Are you here for another reason other than the burial mound? Would you like me to leave you alone? Would you like me to leave this place alone? Is there anything you would like to say before I leave for the day? have a couple more days left here in Florida and I'd really like to communicate with you. Thank you for your time and consideration. I'm sitting on the bench right near where I had the experience last night. And we have a bit of lightning in the distance right directly in front of me you can't see because it's dark is the burial mound
I know I, I was very leery about walking up to the top of the Merriman. I'm sitting at the base of the mound right now, but I've brought offerings to the spirits and there is a flat top path, which is kind of weird, but we brought offerings to the spirits and I think it will be okay. So I'm gonna take my equipment and I'm gonna walk up to the top of the mound. So I want to tell you all what happened to me the first night I found the Indian burial mound. I had taken my nightly walk on the beach and had decided on my way back to the hotel that I wanted to take a little walk near the intercoastal waterway. And while walking out there, I found, well, I mean, as I was walking up to it, I noticed that it was burial mound shaped. I was like, well, that's odd. And then as I was walking around, I saw the sign. Pompano Beach Indian Burial Mound. So I'm walking around the little path that's there and the path leads up to the top of the burial mound but I was a little apprehensive at first to walk up to the top of the mound. So I was I'd sat down at one of the benches that's right at the base of the mound. I sat there for a bit and then I got up and I was reading the sign that was right in front of that bench. Behind me was a few scattered trees, um, mostly palm trees and some security lights um, because in the clearing behind me was dumpsters and pretty much nothing else. So there was good visibility all the way around me. No real way for someone to sneak up or so I thought. I was standing there and suddenly I saw a dark shadow, very large, pop up right behind me and move very quickly off to my left side. Now, me being a female alone in a strange city after dark, I immediately turned to confront this person, raising my phone in my hand to, you know, call for help or something, and there was nobody there. I was all alone. I could see all the way around me and nothing. So, I, I mean, at that point in time, I immediately went straight back to the hotel room. And, I mean, it, it spooked me a bit. I don't scare easy, but that, that was unnerving. But as it was, the next night, I did go back with offerings. And after asking permission at the base of the burial mound, I did walk to the top of it. And I attempted to make communication with the spirits, but really none were really active. None wanted to talk to me, and I don't blame them. I did have... um a couple instances in the hotel room where I thought I saw someone walk across the room in the middle of the night. And here we were on the fifth floor. There was a building across from us was not occupied at the time. So there's really no way that we were see that I should have been seeing a shadow of someone walking across our room. Um, but yeah, other than the, other than seeing the shadow at the mound, I didn't have any other really intense possibly paranormal experiences at the mound. But if you are ever in Pompano Beach, I do recommend stopping by and paying your respects.